Let's make this synth wave bass pluck. You can download this preset along with 149 other useful presets in my pack called Sounds You Know. A link for that's in the description. So to get started, initialize preset, go to basic shapes, and let's go to the saw wave. Let's set the pitch down negative 12 semitones, lower phase to zero, and phase randomization to zero. Let's open up oscillator two. Let's set the frequency here to negative 24 semitones, or down two octaves. Now let's set it to basic shapes and grab the square wave. Then lower the phase down to zero and phase randomization to zero as well. Now one more step for this oscillator. Click the pencil icon here to go to the wavetable editor. Go to the keyframe with our square wave. Find this first column here, that's our first harmonic. Click and drag down until you it's erased. Now let's go back and let's add back in that harmonic with a sine wave. Set this also down to negative 24 semitones and lower the phase to zero and the phase randomization to zero. So the reason for this is we're going to set this third oscillator to direct out so that it bypasses any of our effects that mess with phase. That way our sub is consistent and we know what volume it's going to play at. So a lot of these synth wave sounds get a lot of grit from either detune or phase randomization or phase offset. So let's play with some phase offset. Let's use macro two and swing that over to the phase of oscillator one. And let's hear how this sounds when we change the phase. So you can hear we get quite a bit of character just from that phase offset. So let's label this macro phase. Let's right click this macro. And a sweet spot I found was 0.305. To prevent multiple notes from playing at the same time like I just did there, lower voices to one. All right, so let's add in a filter. Let's make this a pluck using an analog 24 dB low pass filter, no resonance. Uh, let's right click on the cutoff and set this to zero, excuse me, uh, negative 15. And then let's use envelope two to modulate that cutoff. So bring down the sustain all the way, drag envelope two over to the cutoff. And we want to control this uh, cutoff with macro one. So right click on this modulation amount and set it to zero and drag over macro one to that modulation amount, increase this modulation amount all the way, and now listen to how this macro affects our sound. Uh, one thing I forgot to do was uh, route in oscillator two as well. So let's label this pluck. And let's set this macro one to 0 0.23421. Now let's go to effects. Let's add in some chorus. Keep the voices at 16, but lower the frequency down to freeze. Then bring up the depth to 100%. Bring down the mix all the way. Let's assign macro three to the mix of this chorus. Let's label macro three chorus. And let's hear how this affects our sound. So you can hear it adds quite a bit of dimension and width uh, to our sound, uh, especially with the 16 voices here, it almost starts sounding like a reverb. So I'm only gonna add a little bit. Right click macro three, and let's change this to 0 0.115. All right, one more effect. Let's add a compressor. And I don't want any of this upwards expansion, so I'm gonna lower the ratio here. 
and then just bring the threshold all the way down. Let's increase the attack. Let's decrease the release. And uh, let's bring up the mix slowly and see how that affects our sound. So I only want a little bit of this compression. So I'm going to set this to 0 0.13. And uh, you'll notice now this causes one small problem. Since oscillator 3, our sub, is going direct out, it's bypassing our compressor, um, it's not going to be as loud as oscillator 1 and 2. So you'll see that even with uh, this little bit of compression uh, in our mix, you'll notice in the spectral analysis here, uh, the second harmonic is now louder than our sub. By just a little bit. But that matters. So anytime you're going to add compression here and have it bypass your sub, you got to turn up your sub. So let's add uh, 0 0.7. Now you can see our sub is, is the loudest harmonic, which is what we want. So one last modulation. We got macro 4 here. Well, let's make use of it. Now let's control the uh, decay time on uh, envelope 2. Oh, look at this bug. Come on, Matt Titel. All right, envelope 2, let's modulate that decay. So uh, drag decay all the way down. Drag macro 4 over to decay. Right-click this. And let's set this to 0 0.39657. And let's label this decay. So now we can um, mess around with the decay. It sounds like this. So that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed.